Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at a vintage Berserker board game. This is based on Fred uh, Saberhagen's Berserker. It's a science fiction book, obviously. Hence the planet and spaceships. Uh, it's man against machine in a race for survival. Now, if you don't remember the book, well, you know, I can't really blame you. But it is uh, considered somewhat of a classic. It does still have a, a following. It's kind of a hard book to find now, as I recall. I don't know if it's still in print. It wasn't for a very long time. But uh, this game is from Flying Buffalo, Inc. Flying Buffalo makes some really interesting stuff. If you're a role player and you've ever seen Grim Tooth's Traps, you know who Flying Buffalo is. Or if you played Tunnels and Trolls. Uh, they uh, That one came out, I think, through... Or it was distributed by them. Alright, so this was uh, product number 6101 from Flying Buffalo. And Flying Buffalo, I, I do like their stuff. They have a really cool game called Nuclear War. And uh, so when I saw this, I had to pick it up. I've had this for ages. It's, uh, it's a fun game. I haven't played it in years. Uh, but yeah, this one is complete. Or it should be anyway. So let's uh, let's take a look at everything here. Now, uh, what you got was a counters sheet, and these are basically just real thin little chits. They're not as thick as most chits. They're actually just like glorified cardboard. Uh, not even that good. Uh, let's see if I can zoom the camera in a little bit on them. Uh, so you just punch out everything and put it in a big Ziploc baggie. So I'm probably not going to get a better shot of this, but there were quite a few here. Uh, like here's the Berserker Cruisers, C-plus guns, Human Cruisers, Human Cruisers, Human Cruisers, Human Cruisers. Then uh, Ram Ships, Ram Ships. Uh, worlds, miscellaneous counters. Uh, oh, this was from 1982, so that'll give you an idea of how old this is. And now I feel really old. Of course, I bought this in the 90s. All right, then you've got a tracking sheet um, that you're probably gonna want to photocopy, so because you, you only got one. And it does give you permission to copy uh, the copyright information's up here. It says permission to photocopy tracking sheet for personal use only. So you'll want to do that. Um, usually this is what's missing. This are the rules. Uh, but this is thicker paper. It's fairly sturdy, but as you can see, it's definitely fading with age. It's got kind of a yellowish tinge to it, where it used to be much more of a bright white. So there's that. Then the, you have your rule book. Yep, based on the novels and the stories of Fred Saberhagen. Hagen. I don't, I'm not a linguist. Uh, I just went to college for it. So um, this is a real short sheet. On the back here, you've got different diagrams and stuff. But the rules are actually fairly simple. It's basically just a tactical war game. Uh, not a complicated one either. It's fairly simple and uh, It's pretty much I think the average teenager can handle it But the rules are short It's it's like I said not a long game Or a complicated game I should say but it's only a seven page rule book and the eighth page just has like some diagrams on it that you'll probably have to reference several times As far as the map goes, it's a fourfold map and so you can see there's a white line to the center. This is the human borders. And they put the copyright information on here for some reason. And it says tactical display here. And then Earth is down here in white. And over here you have your strategic display. That's this half. So strategic display. Now this one's in pretty good shape. I take very good care of my stuff whenever I can. Uh, but a lot of them aren't going to be in this good of shape. This is very thick paper, um, pretty decent quality too, but 
a lot of times like you can see here where the this is starting to kind of give out and that's usually what happens is the map gets damaged uh, it wouldn't be hard to like if you were inclined to photocopy it and replicate the map it won't be difficult it's it folds down to about eight and a half by eleven squares so if you had to replace part of it it won't be that big of a deal to do so especially now that you know what you're looking at but the map quality is really good and uh, we'll take a look at the chits here a little more closely uh, I believe there's only the one D6 that's supposed to be here but let me adjust the camera and zoom in a little bit so we can get a better look at these if I can okay let's get the map out of the way now here are some of the ships as you can see they've got numbers on them uh, I believe these are all the same yeah so uh, there's a lot of these little pieces that'll be in here uh, the important ones are going to be these the actual uh, colored ships that I believe you had to cut out if I remember correctly it explains why they're all jagged uh, but yeah, it looks like there's, uh, these might be stations, I don't, space stations, I don't remember, but there's three, six, nine of those, and then there's like, uh, repel and border tokens, so there's, there's quite a few little pieces to this. So you'll want to make sure that at least most of them are here and you can always replicate them later at, um, at your whimsies if you're so inclined. Um, mine's complete so thankfully I don't have to do that. There are nine triangular berserker counters, the six sided die, there are 240 die cut counters. So the, the chits, there's 240 of those, rule book and map. And I want you to have kind of an idea of what to look for because some of them are multiple colors and some of them are just going to be like various little planets and stuff like that so there's a lot here a lot of little pieces that could easily be lost and as you can see mine isn't even fully punched out because we never needed the other ones so um, I, I think what you could do realistically is just try and keep an eye and out and make sure that the majority of the pieces are here especially like these berserker counters because you're gonna need these uh, these are very important to the game so if you don't have those um, you, it, the game's more or less worthless because that's a pivotal part of the game you could do without a lot of the other ones and just use representation or get some blank chits and draw the information on there if you have a few of them but you'll need at least some of each of the tokens but yeah I mean uh, the chits are the important bit uh, the map it's a hexagon map standard size for its time nothing unique about it other than what I showed you the tactical display and the uh, strategic display so the tokens are the chits are definitely the more important pieces and of course the rule book and the um, the other sheet that I showed you so you'll want to go through and make sure that the tracking sheet is there, the rule book, the maps, as many of the tokens as possible, and definitely the nine berserker tokens, or chits, whatever you call them. Uh, the younger kids call them different things, uh, counters, chits, tokens, markers, pieces, whatever, they're all kind of the same thing. But that is berserker by Flying Buffalo. Uh, it's based on Fred Saberhagen's books of the same name, uh, the same universe. I like this game. I thought it was fun. If you like tactical strategy games and you don't want to play Starfleet Battles, uh, this might be worth looking into. You can still find it. It usually goes for about 15 bucks on eBay, maybe a little more. It'll probably get more expensive as time goes on, but because the book series really isn't that widely known anymore you could probably find it for a decent price and for something from 1982 
held up pretty well. The condition is still pretty good on these. But that'll do it for this episode. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you on the next episode of What's Inside.